You know those news stories about kids who suddenly collapse? That's a real thing. It's called sudden cardiac arrest. It's caused by an undetected heart condition. I should know. I had one. So listen up. This is one of the most important pages in your playbook. My heart? It's all good. It's an injury or a concussion that would keep me out of the game. Sports safety is a big deal. The most important thing is to keep kids healthy. But an often overlooked threat is an undetected heart condition that could cause sudden cardiac arrest. Cardiac conditions are actually the most common cause of death among all levels of sport, including student athletes. California has a new law now that focuses on protecting these young hearts, the Eric Paredes Sudden Cardiac Arrest Prevention Act. I feel fine, no problems. I got checked out and cleared to play. That's great. We just want to make sure you understand what we're talking about. Sometimes the paperwork you fill out each year becomes a check the box exercise instead of a check-in opportunity. Talk about the warning signs of a potential heart condition and take the time to check your family's heart history. Some conditions are inherited, others can develop over time. So what was going on last year might be different this year. About three out of four parents whose son or daughter had a sudden cardiac arrest said there was at least one symptom before it happened. They just didn't recognize it as life-threatening. Yeah, I fainted last summer. It was really hot, so I figured I just needed to drink more water. Fainting isn't just caused by heat, dehydration, fatigue, or low blood sugar. In fact, it's the number one sign of potential heart condition. If you faint, you should always follow up with a doctor. And now the law states that coaches should remove a student athlete who faints before, during, or after practice or play until they've been cleared by a primary care provider. It's likely nothing's wrong, but it's worth every minute to be sure. Out of breath, a racing heart, feeling dizzy, everyone feels that way after a tough practice. I'm not gonna look stupid by complaining. You know, common sense says that as you train, your body should be building up, not breaking down. If your chest hurts repeatedly, you're commonly short of breath or feeling lightheaded, or your heart's racing, especially when you're not exerting, you need to speak up. Missing a practice to get checked is smart. Missing a potential warning sign could turn into a big mistake. Hey, I just want to play, you know? My parents want me to play too. Why do you have to make such a big deal out of this? Youth sports are competitive, and it's great to be tough. But it's also important to be safe. Studies show that one in 300 kids has an undetected heart condition. That could translate to a few kids at every school. If kids live with the symptoms all their lives, how would they know it's not normal? Or, kids may ignore the symptoms, hoping they'll just go away. The point of this law is to get everyone talking about it so no one is caught off guard. Okay, I get it. But if it happens, we just call 911, right? Actually, that's not all. We need to have a team game plan, because this is an emergency when seconds literally count. We can all work together to call 911, retrieve an automated external defibrillator, or AED, start hands-only CPR, and send someone to direct EMS to the scene. Unfortunately, not every school has an AED, but if your school does, be sure everyone knows where it is at the start of each season. That's why this cardiac chain of survival should be in every playbook. The time we all take to get educated about sudden cardiac arrest could save a life. Now get out there and let's play smart. You heard the coach, check in, know the warning signs and your family's heart history, then speak up. I did, and it probably saved my life. Visit epsavealife.org to learn more about sudden cardiac arrest prevention in youth.